Hey guys, John Hatton here with Custom Kentucky Homes out of Lexington, Kentucky. Behind me you can see we're building a pretty nice house on a two and a half acre lot about five minutes outside of Lexington. Uh, hardy board exterior, western cedar and pine ceilings, vaulted, kind of a western look on this particular home. Uh, it's a four bedroom, three and a half bath. Huge bonus room over the garage, about 900 square feet that would make a great mother-in-law suite, a uh, place for the kids, a rec room, a uh, three-car garage attached, and uh, three and a half baths, walk-in master bath shower, tile floors and all the baths, pre-finished engineered hardwood all through the first floor, and the bedrooms are getting carpet. And now, come on in. Let's take a look at what we got. Hey guys, this is the main entrance to our home here. We've got an eight foot solid red oak door with a transom half round top on it. This is something we designed specially for this home to add to the same look that you've got out on the front porch. We've got a half round on the front porch so this all ties together. Uh, these doors were specially made to not warp with their eight foot tall, you run into that situation. So we put, these have come with special locks that'll keep this door from ever moving, can be easily adjusted, something that's real important anymore. If you get a cheap eight foot door, you'll be paying for it in six months because they, they just won't close. Guys, this house is still under construction big time, so it's kind of a mess. But when we get this thing done, you'll see the dining room's gonna be right here in the front of the house with a see-through fireplace gas logs, shiplap from top to bottom. We're going to install mantles on both sides, have a TV above the, the fireplace on this side. Kitchen cabinets will line across this wall here. We've got a huge eight foot by four foot island that's going to float out in the middle with the kitchen sink in it. Breakfast nook back in the corner. And then everything here is all family rooms. So these people wanted a real open plan. So we've got your dining room, family room, kitchen, breakfast, all in one room with the see-through fireplace kind of dividing things up. But it flows really well. Come on in and we'll look at the master bedroom. We're just now wrapping it up. Of course the painters are finishing up the paint and got our doors off being all primed and second coated. See here's all our ceramic tile for the master bath shower we're in the process of putting in. Um, this particular house we're putting pocket doors in the bathroom to eliminate door swings which take up more space which is kind of nice to have. Ceramic tile floor in this one we're going to have a six foot tub freestanding right in this area here with a his vanity and her vanity and then a walk-in shower which we're getting ready to start building today as a matter of fact. We'll put the shower pan in and then the walls and then we'll, we'll tile it. We're going to put seats in it and shelves which is a pretty nice option to, to have. And then here's the master bedroom closet which is pretty good size. Hey guys, just take a look around the bath and the master bedroom and I'll meet you all at the bottom of the steps and we'll go up to the huge bonus room we've got up. Okay guys, we're going to head up the stairs now. This set of steps here, instead of coming straight down, we put an angle on it and we're going to have curved staircase on both sides which makes it nice when you come in from the front door, you kind of got an easier edge to go around to the, to the kitchen and everything. We're going to use a stainless steel wrought iron on this thing. Uh, it's going to be handmade in Lexington to be put on because this is kind of a showcase part of the, of the house when you walk in through the front door. So come on, follow me upstairs and we'll take a look at this huge bonus room. The original plan called for 350 square feet. I figured out a way to get 800 square feet up here for very little additional cost. Got plenty of glass for the view that you have up here. Four sets of doors for storage. 
drop the full bath in up here also. So like I said, this would make a great mother-in-law suite or a place for the kids, game room, video room, just a ton of space to do anything you want. Uh, really makes the house. Using a separate HVAC system in this thing because this is a hard room to heat and cool so we dropped a separate system for this room especially up here to guarantee that we can keep it hot and hot and cold like it needs to be. Big problem when people do bonus rooms over garages trying to get them to, to work right and to stay the temperature that they need. So this turned out really great. People are really, really happy with the way this room looks. When we built this house and we figured out we could make this bonus room a lot bigger and a lot more usable, we switched from single hung windows that were shown up here and single, single window units and we doubled these two just because of the view. You got a beautiful view of the country and farmland out here, front, side, and rear. So we really took advantage of this room sitting up high over the garage and what you can see out of. Makes it, makes it pretty nice. Let's head on downstairs now. We'll go through the family room and take you out on the covered porch that we're gonna hopefully have a pool put in in a, in a month or so. We get everything finished up out here. So it, uh, it's all covered. It'll make for a real nice place to, for the family to hang out at. Hey guys, here we're here on the back patio. This is where I figure everybody's going to spend most of their time, mostly when we get the pool put in back here. Well, we got vaulted western cedar ceiling here. I put a triple window across the back to that you can look out the family room and be able to see the pool and kind of keep an eye on the kids. Took another area of patio over here that we'll probably end up putting a future fireplace on out here and it'll make a good area to, just to eat and everything. Potentially may screen some of this porch in for the people that are thinking about just taking this area, putting the screen in, door where they may want to eat outside and not have to fight with the bugs. Huge fan up top to uh, move a little air in here. And uh, so once again, it's kind of a mess, but we're just trying to get it finished. All right, guys, we're at, gonna get ready to wrap this thing up, but I wanted to show you the three car garage we've got here. Uh, we actually put a mud room out here in the garage for the fella, and he's gonna put an outdoor sink. Hot water heater is gonna go out there and just another room for storage for him. Uh, we'll have storage above. Two garage doors, a 16 footer and a 10 foot, both of them eight foot tall so you can get a big truck in uh, with the extra height. Concrete patio we just poured the other day, just now saw cut it and got the grooves cut in it. So like I said, every day we're really trying to move fast on this one. Uh, if you got any questions, just give us a call or look us up on our website and be glad to answer anything and, and be of any help to you to build a new home. Hey, and I appreciate your time. Once again, my name's John Hatton with Custom Kentucky Homes. Uh, look us up, feel free to contact me. I'll answer any questions you have. We can build them from scratch like this one, build your plan, or we can design a plan for you. Be glad to help in any way. Thank you.